This weekend I was making chocolate chip cookies. The recipe I was using needed two and a quarter cups of flour. But I really didn't want to do that many dishes and I was being kind of lazy so the only measuring cup I had out was a three quarter cup measuring cup. So what I need to know is how many scoops of my three quarters cup measuring cup am I going to need in order to get exactly two and a quarter cups of flour. Well let's look at two different ways to solve it. One way we can solve this is by dividing. The other way we can solve it is by going through and counting it out. Let's start by dividing. When we divide, our dividend tells us how much we're going to need. Well, I'm going to need two and a quarter cups. And our divisor tells us how we're going to split it into groups. I'm going to split it into groups worth three-fourths of a cup each. So if we're going to divide it out, I'm going to need to solve two and one-fourth divided by three-fourths. Well, when we're dividing with mixed numbers and fractions, the first thing I need to do is make everything improper. So if I'm going to change 2 and 1 fourth to an improper fraction, I first need to multiply 4 times 2 to give me 8, 8 plus 1 to give me 9. So as an improper fraction, 2 and 1 fourth is going to become 9 fourths. Since 3 fourths is already a fraction, so far it's going to stay that way. We also know that when we divide with fractions, it's really multiplying by the reciprocal. So my dividend is going to stay the same, so 9 fourths stays the way it is. My division sign changes to a multiplication sign, and then I need to take the reciprocal of my divisor. So instead of multiplying by 3 fourths, I'm going to flip that over and multiply by 4 thirds. Now we can solve. Multiply top by top, so 9 times 4 is 36. Multiply denominator by denominator, 4 times 3 is 12. So I get 36 over 12. 36 over 12 is improper, so to simplify that, I need to divide my numerator by my denominator. 36 divided by 12 is 3, with none left over. So in order to measure up my 2 and a quarter cups of flour, using 3 quarters cups in each scoop, I'm going to need to come out with 3 scoops. So that's one way we can solve it, is by dividing it out. Our other option is to divide everything up into force on a number line and count it out in three quarter scoops increments. So for my first scoop, I would need one fourth, two fourths, three fourths scoop. So there is one scoop. Then I would need to do it again. Another three fourths would be one fourth, two fourths, three fourths. That would take me up to a total of one and a half cups. And then for my last scoop, one fourth, two fourths, three fourths would take me all the way up to my two and a quarter cups. So if I drew it out on a number line, I can see that I'm still going to need one, two, three scoops in order to get exactly two and a quarter cups. The simpler thing probably would have been to get out a cup measuring cup and a quarter cup measuring cup, but this way, sticking with the three quarters cup, I only had one to wash.